Let's go and welcome everybody to Doki Doki Literature Club Banter. You guessed it. This mod is about all of us getting together in the club and simply having a little bit of banter together. I think this is a pretty short one, so let's just get into it and uh, hopefully have a couple laughs and gaffs. Let's go. Fan mod, we know what it is. We know what we're getting in store for. This is like our 23rd mod at this point, which is absolutely insane. You know, I actually looked at my Steam um, my Steam profile to see how many hours I have in Doki Doki Literature Club, because I do always play on Steam. And I only have 80 hours in Doki Doki Literature Club. And I played the original game twice. It kind of blows my mind when I even over 100. But anyway, let's get into it. Apparently, we can't type our name. Whatever. Maybe there's no MC. Maybe we're just gonna, like, like we got the narrator goggles, and we're just gonna, like, maybe, dude, maybe we're sitting in that lock over there, peering in. Seeing what kind of banter arises in the club. Let's see what goes down. Never mind. Apparently we are a human because it says it's my third day in the club. <laughs> it's my third day in the club. Yesterday I spent the day reading with Yuri and we shared the poems we made. We decided that writing poems were a little too embarrassing, so today we were going to plan on what to do for the festival. However, not everyone is here yet. Looking around, it seems like I am the third one. <laughs> Is that, it sounds like we're, we're like, uh, it's like, like it's, we're a superhero. I am the third one. I can see Natsuki opening up the closet in the far right corner. She's browsing through her small collection of manga, clearly making some tough decisions. Um, do I want Parfait Girls, uh, number eight? Or do I want to go back to one and reread it because I love it so much? Mmm, tough choices. <clears throat> oh shit, did I read that last line of text? Whatever, she's reading the manga, bro. Um, she glances up at me and decides her reading can wait until she greeted me. Uh, uh, uh hello, Raw. Welcome back. Oh, shit. How did, how did, what, 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 uh, how, wait, 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 wait. I've never seen a mod do this before. How does it know we go by Rar? Our computer name is not called Rar. I didn't say, how does it know that? This is not supposed to be like a meta-breaking mod. I just simply don't know how the coding works for this. How does it know I'm RAR? That's f literally creeping me out. It's probably it's probably nothing weird. I just don't know the code behind it. But okay, awesome. I'm glad that we are indeed RAR. Uh, welcome back, RAR. Uh, hey, Yuri. Looks like uh, we're still missing Sihori and Monica. Uh, do you know where they might be? Um, Yuri is deep in thought. I suppose Monica might be practicing her piano. I hope she isn't too late. And I guess Yuri could be anywhere. You know she's a silly girl. Maybe looking for a cookie down the road. Uh, hold on, I remember now. Yuri said she was going to swing by the J-Mart after the final period. I guess we'll just have to wait. Maybe I should go get Monica. I think that Monica can take, can take care of herself. Perhaps instead, you can take care of me. We could... Read together some more? Well, uh, while we wait, I guess we could. Uh, oh, oh my god, oh sh Wait, I, I, I gotta save real quick. Gotta save, gotta save, gotta save. Oh god, it's corrupt! Oh god, uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> I think if I try to save, it would corrupt my save files, because I don't know. Like, wait, 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 wait. Let me look at these. This is my save files back from when I played Doki Doki College Club, which was like, Four months ago. Why are these here? That is so weird. I experienced this one time before. I guess it's probably, it's just like the same modder and they're like throwing like, they're using like their same save files. I, I don't know, that is whack. But last time I tried to save over one of these, it crashed the game. What I wanted to do is Siori is holding a little slurpy, okay? She's holding a little slurpy in her hand. And unfortunately, I can't show you. Because also, if I minimize the game to hide my face really quickly, it also crashes the game. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't this just going going great so far? Oh, well. Um, oh, my gosh, you guys. You'll never guess what I just saw. Yuri, looking somewhat defeated, plops back into her chair. She begins reading her book while Siori carries on with her story. So I was at the J-Mart, right? Pouring myself a slushie. When then all of a sudden, I think you can see it now, all of a sudden I see our teacher, Miss Kobayashi, buying a lottery ticket. Siri, what's so special about that? Don't teachers, like, live at school? 
Um, Siri, what do you mean? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I, was that Siri saying that? I'm sorry, whatever. Um, Siri, what do you mean live at school? At this point, Natsuki has been quietly reading some manga. She peeks over and listens to the conversation. Well, don't teachers, like, sleep in the staff room or something? Yeah, I've got... Obviously, Sayori's gonna- she has the take that literally teachers live here. Okay. I simply stare at Sayori, seeing if she'll continue. She does. And I hear the teachers hate Summer because they have to stay in the school locked in the basement. <laughs> what? At this point, Natsuki blur bur bursts out laughing. Is blurts? Blurts? Oh, blurts out laughing. That is totally a word. <laughs> Gee, Sayori, who'd you hear that from? Sayori timidly places her slushy on the desk. Well, that's what my friends at school used to say. Mind you, we were back in elementary school. Wow, Siori, I can't believe you're so gullible. I mean, come on. I think anyone would rather die than live at the school. Siori's starting to look a little discouraged. I decide I should defend Siori's honor. White Knighter, baby. Even though she's clearly in the wrong white knighter. You know what, Natsuki? Maybe teachers would like to live in school, but they simply can't. Because school doesn't work that way, but they would want to. <clears throat> hey, Natsuki. Uh, don't you think that's being a little mean? Plenty of people believe silly things when they're kids. Like uh, Santa Claus. Rawr, what do you mean? Santa Claus isn't real? <laughs> God, that'd be like a perfect perfect way to end cap this conversation. Oh, shut it, Rawr. This is way too funny. Natsuki continues to giggle as Siori looks more ashamed of herself. I notice Monika walk in with a blurry lo worried look at the sight of her before. Natsuki turns to Monika, Siori sits down and begins to flick the straw of her club. <laughs> Yo, Monika, you'll never guess what Siori just said. Monika looks at Siori with an ep apologetic look and then looks back at Natsuki. Natsuki, oblivious to how everyone is feeling, carries on. So she thought that teachers, like, never leave school. Isn't that a riot? You'd think that she would have figured it out by now. It's like she's a kid. Not that I'm a kid. I just have a small lolly body. Uh, at this point, Monica speaks up. Natsuki, I don't think you know that you've hurt Siori's feelings. Natsuki looks at Siori and now realizes what she's done. Plus, I bet that Siori's not the only one that believed in those silly things. Isn't that right, Natsuki? Uh, hey, I never believed in anything as a kid. <laughs> anything silly. Uh, there's no possible way. Closely following the conversation, Yuri takes this moment to be the instrument of Natsuki's justice. Uh, uh, Natsuki. I distinctly remember you telling me that your dad convinced you that eating vet. N no, Yuri, that's supposed to be a secret. Yuri sits back down, looking cutely amused with herself. Siori is perked up, and it looks like she wants to hear what Yuri, or Siori has perked up and wants to hear what Yuri has was on about, and so do I. Uh, well, the secret's out. You deferently have to tell us. What? What? Excuse me? What is that word? Deferentially? <laughs> oh, man. This mod's a riot. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, man. Yay, story time. I right, fine. You better listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. Natsuki takes a deep breath. She begins telling her story. So back when I was a kid, I used to hate eating fruits and veggies. Yuri snorts, clearly amused. Hey, do you want me to tell the story or not? Uh, I'm sorry, Natsuki. That just came out. I didn't mean to. Oh, shut it, you big bean. I know I'm funny. Crisis averted. Natsuki continues. So as I was saying before, as I was... Before I was really interrupted, I used to hate eating fruits and veggies. Oh, I forgot to mention, this was all before I dyed my hair, so it used to be plain old boring brown. Oh, interesting. Hey! Your hair isn't naturally pink? No, dummy. Nobody is born with pink hair. So you even dye your eyebrows, Natsuki? I guess some people do that? That would be a lot to take care of. Bleaching your eyebrows and dyeing them? I don't know. I guess it's possible. Does anyone do that? I don't think so. Maybe. If you're really committing to the act. 
I mean, I know you could also, like, color, you know, you can, like, glue your eyebrows down and, like, color them whatever you want and, like, cover them up and stuff like that, but that would still be a lot of work. I don't know, whatever. Makeup tips with RAR. You did, if you didn't know, comb your eyebrows up, then get a glue stick and glue the fuck out of it. Comb it up again, glue the fuck out of it, and then put, um, like, a, a darker concealer, and then put, like, a lighter concealer, and you, you mesh that all up, and you can, you can cover your eyebrows. Just saying. Uh, unless you have, like, well, even with, like, super thick eyebrows, it pretty much still works. Um, I don't know why glue helps so much, but it does. Uh, anyway. No, dummy, nobody's born with pink hair. <laughs> I guess. I can't imagine someone as cute as you with plain old boring brown hair. <clears throat> why is Monica still yelling? Hey! All right, where was I? Oh, yeah, so I got my hair dyed, and my dad convinced me that if I ate grapefruit, then my hair would turn pink. Um, now this is an important detail. I hate grapefruit. So my stupid butt spent the next week eating grapefruits until I realized that my dad totally lied. Oh, serves him right because I totally dyed my hair anyway. And now I'm super cute. Oh my god. <laughs> she, she's right. She, she's right though. She's right, bro. Oh man, I'm so happy to see Natsuki again. The the past two mods I've played, I haven't seen Natsuki too much. Fucking love her, dude. God damn, she's a cutie. <sighs> she takes my breath away. She really does. Oh god. Why? 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 At least they're not saying re. That would be the worst. This is okay. This you know, I kinda like this. Okay, fine. Dab on the haters, Natsuki. Here are <laughs> You are cute. Okay, that's great. That's great, actually. Ah, what have I done? Natsuki bolts out of the room, clearly frustrated. I didn't even realize that she admitted she was cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was actually good. That was good. That was good. I never thought this day would come. Natsuki admitted she was cute. Uh, the remaining girls and I continue to sit in silence until Yuri pipes up. Well, considering that we're... Recounting childhood misconceptions, I suppose it'd be fitting for me to take a turn. Uh-huh. You of all people must rarely believe in silly things, I'm curious. Uh, oh, um, I'll try not to disappoint. I'd love to share a story with you, with you, Ra. You know, Siori, uh, you know, Yuri, Siori and I are still here. But, right, I'm sorry, I, I got carried away, didn't I? Oh, what am I gonna do? While Yuri struggles to get out of her funk, Natsuki struts back in as if nothing happened. She notices Yuri and gives her some time, or gives her some Natsuki-style encouragement. Gee, Siori, or gee, Siori, why am I, like, stumbling on their names? I keep switching their names around. I'm dying, bro. Brain exploding. There's just too many Dokis. Clashing back and forth. I feel like maybe it's because the Dokis don't converse that much. Like, going name, name between name. I feel like there, a lot of the time in, like, mods, you're alone with one character. I might mention them sometimes, like the others. Or maybe it's, like, you know, Natsuki and Yuri having banter. Everybody's involved in this conversation, which is cool. I feel like that doesn't happen that much. I think the only time I can recall that is, like, when I played Doki Doki Summertime. When we met up at the park, we all kind of talked together. Even still, though, not really. It was more like, oh, Siori's over here playing with the dog. Oh, da 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 It's still kind of, like, separated them in their own way. Everybody feels involved in this conversation. Maybe I'm just being a weirdo, but I, I feel like Nats don't really do that. I don't know. Let's continue. This is me just coming up for with some whack justification as to why I'm messing up their names. <laughs> but believe it! Uh... Jeez, Yuri, um, I'm gone for two minutes and you're already shut down. Uh, Yuri was just about to tell us something that she used to believe as a child. Well, I gotta hear that one. Come on, Yuri. Yuri takes a deep breath and begins picking up an apple. Okay. My love. Uh, so when I was a child, I used to believe that... That if I swallowed the seeds of an apple, then an apple tree would grow inside my stomach. Yuri stares at her apple and gently scratches her stomach. Let me did, let me know in the comments. Did you believe that as well? 
I what what I was told the the misconception that I had was um do you know how there's watermelons right there's there's white seeded watermelons and then there's the black seeded watermelons I was told that if you swallowed the black seeds small chance could grow inside you which I believe is technically true I feel like I saw like a medical horror story where where a, like a seed grew inside somebody I could be totally misremembering but I'm pretty sure this is why a lot of people get this misconception but I'm pretty sure it's happened before you know what we're, we're, we're gonna do this live give, give me give me one second here kids I'm gonna see if I can go on my phone and just type in man with seed growing in lung there's an internet buzz of news of ron the 75 year old cape cod man who discovered that a growth in his lung was not as feared a tumor but rather a pea plant a seed has somehow lodged itself in his lung presumably after some food made it its way around the wrong tube and then the seed sprouted all right so lung is true now let's try growing in stomach the body of a man who was murdered found a seed from a fig in his stomach, grew to a tree. Oh, uh, well, that's a seed that, like, grew on a dead guy's body. Gross. <laughs> it might be possible. I'm, I, you know, I was just seeing if I could get, like, quick answers. So, again, do you see that? I, I think this misconception gets spread around because it's, like, actually kind of real again it's like 0.0000000000000001% chance but who knows everything has an inherent risk everything has a, you know a small chance of something going whole whack and haywire though you know what i mean um everything you know it, I, I i think one time the the thing that really kind of slapped me in the face was when i was getting my wisdom teeth out and they're like oh you're completely normal and you should easily be able to get your wisdom teeth out and i'm like okay and then they're like but we do have to inform you that there's technically a 1.2 percent chance that it gets fucked up and we're gonna have to like put a tube in your nose and like block it because we're gonna drill too deep and something 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 and i'm like what and they're like, oh yeah, also like whenever they, whenever you, like if you, when they put anesthesia on you to make you go to sleep, there's also like a point, like 2% chance you just don't wake up or something like that. Everything has inherent risk. Going outside, taking a walk, a motherfucker could come up you and just, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little Yuri action. You don't know. Everything has inherent risk. So don't, don't live in the reality where you expect such a small chance for something like that to happen. Sorry for the little cut, but it turns out there's only like five minutes left to this mod. So I recorded my entire ending and realized, shit, I can't leave them with another short DDLC video. Yesterday I uploaded a 12 minute video. There is no way we're giving the people another short episode. So we're going to continue the mod until the end. Now you may ask yourself, Rar, how do you know there's only five minutes left? You wanna know what I did? You know what I did, what did just to make sure that you guys are safe, happy, and fulfilled? What I did is I ended the episode, I did my closer. Then I, 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 I closed my, I closed one and a half of my eyes and I barely looked at the side of the screen to where I just saw like the top left corner and I spammed the space bar and then the mod ended within like, 45 seconds of me spamming the space bar and i assume doing some quick math ding, there's like five minutes left so we are not spoiled but we know the mod's gonna be over soon let's continue let's go <laughs> yuri stares at her apple and gently scratches her stomach uh wouldn't wouldn't that just be fascinating if it were true? Imagine, if you would, the roots beginning to stretch the bottom of your stomach, poking through and curling around your kidneys before tracing the inner linings of your intestines. And up above, the stem extending up past your gallbladder, exposing its way even higher, you would curl around the folds of your liver before moving on to the to caress your fragile lungs. Oh, wouldn't it feel very... Uh, 
I, I, I would be a wonderful to feel every labored breath. Ah, uh, uh, Yori, that's quite the interesting story. Uh, oh my gosh, what, what, what came over me? Oh, I think I should sit down. Well, I guess that's everyone. Thanks for sharing those great stories. Looks like we still need a plan for the festival, huh? I guess we can do that tomorrow, so no more stories. <laughs> no kidding, not going through that again. Oh, I wanted to hear more stories. Are you kidding? I've heard enough out of you five guys. You, why did I just say five? <laughs> About you guys for a lifetime. Okay, everyone, I think we can call it a day. Hey, wait a minute. Monica, you didn't tell a story yet. <laughs> Natsuki, the story is that I am a living entity inside of this world. <laughs> right, right, Rar, or should I say Alec? <laughs> Monica, <clears throat> what's gotten over you? I said I've heard enough of your stories for one day. Uh, I never believed in anything so silly. Uh, yeah, right, come on. I'm serious, guys. I didn't have exactly that exciting of a childhood. Now that you mention it, I'm quite curious to hear what our uh, illustrious president used to believe. Uh, uh, oh god, it's a Nazi voice. I just... I, I don't know. A brain freeze. Sorry, what happened? Rar, do something. I drank the, slush the slushy too fast. W what do you want me to do? It hurts. Make it stop, Rar. Oh, man. Siori's crying. I need to think of something fast. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, um, uh, we... We can go to the nurse's office. <laughs> okay. I take Siori down to the nurse's office. Hopefully she has a reverse ice pack or something. <laughs> oh, we should help Siori. That's right, we need to help Siori. Our story needs a pro. I guess it's just you and me, then. Well, thanks for reading our little story. I hope you had as much fun reading along as I did being a part of it. Monica smiles sweetly. Aww. Aww. What a cute little mod. Um, I do want to say one thing before we end the episode. So listen up. Give, type an I was here in the chat if you're here. I want to know. Because you, you, what I feel like some people do is as soon as I say we're cutting the episode here or like the mod ends, people immediately click out. Just take a chill pill, all right? Chill out. I mean, I, now I get it. Sometimes I'll ask for, you know, I'll do my little ramble, like, comment, subscribe. I get it. I understand. You don't feel like you need to hear that. So when I said we're, say we're ending the episode, probably nothing crazy is going to happen at the end. But sometimes... Things do get a little haywire. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But what I did want to say specifically, we're going to skip all the likes and comments and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> do it if you want. But the point that I want to make here, because I've never really announced this, and you know what? I'm, I hopefully re I remember to tell this at the beginning of one of my episodes, because I, I feel like more people need to know this. But you know how I mentioned that I go live on Twitch every day besides Monday and Friday? I live stream on Twitch, etc., etc. Twitch link in the description. As soon as I post a DDLC video, specifically DDLC, I post DDLC the same time every day at like 11.20 p.m. my time. I live stream on Twitch every day besides Monday, Friday, and Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you know how my videos are usually around a half hour, maybe a little shorter? Yeah, guess what that means? As soon as you're done watching this episode, I go live on Twitch in like 10 minutes. So if you don't really know when I stream, if you're not sure about the time zones, how it works, just know, if you watch this video when it comes out, I'm probably most definitely live streaming if you click the link down below, or I will be in like a minute. So this is kind of like fourth wall breaking in a sense, but yeah, go click down in that description. I'll, I'm, I'll be live in like probably five minutes. So get over there, Try, test out Twitch if you've never tried it before, again. If you like watching my YouTube videos and commenting down below and stuff like that, Twitch is like even more crazily fun. Being able to do everything with me live and ask me whatever you want, comment down below in like a live chat, it's amazing. 
So if you've never tried out Twitch, just click the link. All you got to do is click like the sign up button at the top right. So you have an account and then you're already on my page. So you just wait for me to go live and we have fun for hours together. So anyway, I feel like I, I need to like kind of cut the rambling, but like actually let people know what the hell is going down. So hopefully some of you guys listened to that. Uh, I, let Again, comment I was here if, if, if you listened to that whole little spiel because because I'd like to know. But with that being said, we are finally at the end of the mod. And um, one other message I also want to say, because th this is another reason why I wanted you to stay, is I, I, I pretty much know what we're going to be playing. I'm pretty sure we're going we're gonna to be playing uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Abridged next. Fairly short mod. Heard it's like the best comedy mod around. Of course, comedy is subjective, but we'll see. Um, and then we're probably going to play Fruits of the Literature Club after that. Pretty sure. At least like probably Natsuki's Root. So yeah, I think those are like the two mods you can expect next from me. I might do like one more short mod in between that as well. We'll see, but that's around what you can expect. There was one person in the comments that kept asking me to play a specific mod. He, he, I think his profile picture is like a Roblox head or like a Lego head. Oh God, what was that? What was the mod he was talking about? I forget, but maybe I'll check that one out too. But again, give me mod suggestions. I, I check them all out and then, you know, see if it makes sense for me to do them or not. Um, but I'll, I'll try to get to all of them at some point. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Much love. Take care and have a damn good one.